For this video, we're going to be looking at the frequency of the numbers of 2022 and what is in store for us this year from an angelic perspective. Let's get into it. Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And today we're gonna to be looking at the frequency around the numbers of 2022. Now we are in a master number kind of year. We've got that 22 in there. But besides that, I'm gonna be taking more of the angelic number standpoint rather than a pure uh, numerology kind of viewpoint on this. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Numerologists, please do chime in here, give your perspective. It could only benefit all of us and I thank you for your time and your contribution. So from an angelic standpoint, when we're looking at the numbers 2022, again, we have that master number in there of the 22. So we've had all of this tearing down 2020 two zeros in there at least from an angelic standpoint that's a reset that can be the battle of good and evil within ourselves let's put it that way right but also with others as well and trying to find the twos trying to find the harmony and balance in a very unlikely scenario so we are you know what 2020 we'll start with that first you know we were being asked to contend with something we've never seen before it felt very life or death and still trying to come on through and adjust, right? So 2021, we have that number one in there, which is about the self, the individual. This is a time this past year where a lot of people have probably discovered things about themselves. This is where we saw a lot of people saying, I don't want to do this career anymore. I don't want to be in this relationship. I'm not going to allow my family to treat me this way. I'm not going to have these kinds of friends anymore and really focusing on deeper healing hopefully <laughs> all right plenty of people see things to heal and they blow right past it and that still has that zero in there so even though 2021 if we're generalizing from an individual standpoint there were still battles it just they just weren't the same intensity perhaps every individual is different but it may not have been the same intensity as 2020 why is that 2020 presented something that we just had never seen before, didn't know what to do with it. 2021 was a continuation of that previous battle. So the battle was still present in the numbers 2021, and yet we know how to focus on, okay, how am I going to handle this? How can I move through this? What, is the, what has this taught me? So the battle was still there, but the battle was on its way to being won, okay? So the one is also, you know, 1111, 111, everybody loves that, right? <laughs> Especially as an angel number, where the angels are trying to get your attention, uh, you know, sparking your vision, your spiritual growth, asking you to ascend, you know, all of these kinds of things. But ascension doesn't come without first healing some old patterns and having that self discovery, right? So that whole year, 2021, was about now finding balance while still balancing the old battle but understanding more things about yourself and how am I going to choose to move forward. Now we come into 2022 and it's like ding, 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 time to build, time to make it. Okay, so you've had all this time to get through the battle, to see what that battle means for you. What are you gonna make out of that? So this isn't just now about the individual. We don't have a one in there. This is about partnership. This is about how we can play nice with one another right? in, in some respect, right? So there's this master builder number, this idea of, okay, we know the pieces have fallen in this way. Let's take out now, we have this opportunity to clear away what we don't need and to keep what still works and revamp it. Okay, so this is gonna be a whole year of a lot of change. And it's going to be a lot of having to find solutions and working together. So again, reflecting that back on 2020, it was, it's about, I, I, there's this battle and I have to win and I have to take care of myself and there was this panic and there wasn't cooperation. 2022 is figuring out how we can work together. So unfortunately, this does not guarantee a perfect life. There will never be a perfect life. It always fascinates me when people say, you said 2022 was gonna be a good year. And then I stub my toe and I had a bad day and it's your fault because you had me thinking I was gonna have a good year. 
<laughs> yeah, there, there's always going to be something. But when we talk about the lesson of balance, which is what two is representing, okay? The lesson of balancing and um, learning how to cooperate with one another, often that comes with earth shattering kinds of moments that force us together, right? Or force us to uh, be nice to our neighbor who historically we didn't get along with because their plants spilled over in your yard, but now there's an asteroid coming. We better be nice to each other because we've got to run together, right? I'm being silly here. I hope that doesn't happen, but you get what I'm saying here. So it's about laying down the old arguments. Now we do have that zero in there. Okay, it's 2022, so that's gonna be going on for a while. There, there is battling our old perspectives. There will still be the essence of some sort of, I don't wanna call it struggle. You know, it, it doesn't have to be a struggle. Struggle is what we choose. It's how we choose to handle something. Whereas we have all the other energy of balance and cooperation. So yes, there will still be things happening there, but we can work together or learn how to work together. It's not gonna be a perfect pro uh, process, but we can learn to work together to move forward, okay? To have progression. Now, we can also look at those numbers on a personal level, okay? Learning how to handle things better, learning how to cope better, not being so reactionary, not being, I was saying in another video, the martyr, the victim. We're not taking on those split roles anymore. We realize, hey, the stuff that's happened over the past couple of years, it didn't just happen to me, it happened to everybody. There would, there would be a little bit of a split there where some people have been extraordinarily self-centered, <laughs> right? Because 2021 kind of, it was about the self. So we were, you know, hopefully inward looking at our patterns and all that stuff. So now we're kind of coming out of that and realizing we're not alone. And it can be freeing for some, depends on your perspective, and to know that you're not going through things alone, that you don't have to, you know, be so independent. Independence is good to a certain extent, but now we have to find where our communities can come together. Can we get to know our neighbors? Because in some situations, I'm sorry to say, we'll see how the year plays out, you may be having to lean on your neighbors, or you as a community, you're going to have to come together. All right, whether it's helping people get out of a fire or everybody has to run from a tsunami or everybody has to, you know, recover from a tornado or an earthquake or what have you. You know, this is a time where stuff is still going to be happening, but we're learning to come together. So it is that energy of lifting your head up and saying, oh, oh, you need my help. Okay, okay, yeah, I know how to do that. I can help you, right? Or, hey, I don't really know how to do this. Does anybody have any advice, <laughs> right? So it's an equal exchange. So this could even be the kind of energy, I'm thinking of like bartering, <laughs> right? Where people are trading things, uh, where there's like a communal garden and everybody's working together and they share kind of thing. Now, some people would say, well, that's ideal. That's utopia. That's how we things should be. Not everybody agrees with that. Some people like to see if they can do something on their own. We're not, you know, the energy of 2022, I'm not sitting here saying that that's gonna steal that from you in any way. You can still work on your own, but you're gonna be called to be of service, you know, to others. So there is, again, this whole idea of building a whole new kind of existence out of what has crumbled away and figuring out what best solutions are, knowing that that battle is still there, knowing that we can work together, we're not alone. We don't have to just lean on ourselves. So coming out of the energy of 2021, let's say that you realized, okay, I'm struggling with depression. That was a big thing that people were struggling with forever, but you know, most recently, especially during 2020, and you've been trying to deal with it on your own. Maybe this is the year you get with a really great therapist, or maybe this is a year you join a group or maybe this is a year that, you know, you have that deep conversation with somebody and you realize they're on the same page as you. You know, it, it can have a lot of beauty to it. Now, I wouldn't be a very good angel person here if I didn't mention that this is very much the energy of Archangel Sandalfin. Sandalfin is the brother of Archangel Metatron. Metatron is all about sacred geometry, the blueprint of the universe, Akashic records, 
uh, intuition, all kinds of things, <laughs> right? And Sandalf and being his brother, they were both human at one point, and they, as a reward from God, were turned into archangels. So Sandalfin is more commonly known as the Archangel of Music, but you could get, take that a little bit further and uh, think of sound healing, tuning forks, solfeggio, even binaural beats kind of thing, evening out your wiring, right? So sound healing, sound baths, all of that kind of stuff would be covered by Archangel Sandalfin. Sandalfin is also known for helping you balance your chakras to balance your physical self with your spiritual self and traditionally carrying your prayers up to God, source, creator, the universe, whatever you call that power. So working with Sandalfin this year will help you find balance. So when things are throwing you askew, where something comes up and you kind of get knocked off course, instead of panicking, you work with Archangel Sandalfin. Sandalfin helps you get all into an alignment, be connected, right, to God, source, creator, but also to be connected and in tune with the earth. So Sandalfin is known as being in charge of the earth star chakra, which is about 18 inches beneath your feet. Now, lots of people have different perspectives on what color he represents. Some say turquoise, some say brown, like a, a rich uh, soil brown, and therefore he does oversee soil, which is imperative to healthy food. That's why our food these days are not it's not as nutrient dense as it once was. It's not as nourished, okay? Um, you know, anything having to do with the earth, kind of going over into animals as well. That's also Archangel Ariel. I remember another practitioner uh, mentioning Archangel Thuriel, I believe, but certainly Archangel Sandalfin can help with that as well. So when we're talking about prayers. When we're talking about asking for help from the divine and working with this energy of Sandalfin. Sandalfin is also known to be super tall. He was once the prophet Elijah. So, you know, if you want to be working with Sandalfin, Sandalfin can help you find your peace and your balance and your strength, your groundedness, no matter what is going on. And if you start to get too um, egocentric, okay? Now let me, let's unpack that a little bit here. So if you start to go into a place of uh, faking it till you make it, yeah, I guess the law of attraction, that's like a popular thing to do. But Sandalfin will help you kind of get back into reality a little bit with that. And it's you know, this kind of energy of, no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And you work with Sandalfin, and Sandalfin might make you very aware of some emotion or some chakra, some place in your body where you know you need some healing. Okay, so let's say you've had a very troubled childhood. Um, let's say, God forbid, there was some abuse that happened in childhood. And let's say you always have lower abdomen issues. And you say, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And you do a meditation with Sandalfin, and Sandalfin brings the attention to that chakra. And you have this awareness, it's time for me to not struggle with that anymore. It's time for me to be balanced and to get my harmony back by working on that, right? And so, Again, this idea of twos, right? You work in pairs. <laughs> so you work with a therapist. You get with a friend and you have a talk and maybe you know that's what gets you courageous enough to go take the next step. Whatever it is, it can, it can very much be the year of pairing up with others, whatever that means to you. <laughs> Business partners, having a bestie that you spend a lot of time with, uh, relationships, romantic partnerships, that sort of thing. But coming back to Archangel Sandalfin, Sandalfin doesn't just coddle you. None of the Archangels do. They're very straightforward, okay? So Sandalfin, again, might make you very aware of something that needs to be worked on. And especially if you've been praying on something, given that example, let's play into that a little bit more. Why can't I get the job I want? How come none of my relationships ever work out? And then this awareness starts to come up and as you dive into that issue from childhood, perhaps just in the example, you might realize, I'm afraid to be close to anybody. I don't trust. Or, you know, you start to have these other realizations about yourself that free you and help you get moving forward in a way that you want, right? So that you can co-create the microcosm, <laughs> your little microcosm and the life that you want to experience, letting go of the old pain. It's that sort of year, 
all right? So there are levels and layers and all kinds of things going on. But your archangel, if, you can work with any archangel if you want, but one that would be really wonderful to work with is Archangel Sandalfin. Just be ready for what he shows you. All right, as I said, he's not here to coddle anybody. But if you've prayed on it, you're gonna get messaging around that. Now, the other thing that Sandalfin can help with is you understanding your own energetic flow, your own manifestation abilities. This kind of goes into Archangel Ariel as well. And helping you understand that you don't have to wait for the hand of God to come down and like make things work in your life. But you can download information, have that deeper understanding, releasing some pain. This will be a big year for that because I think we got set up for that in 2021 for most of you. <laughs> okay. So you're now you're taking action. Now you're making things happen here. Yes. So again, you could have in 2021 had some discovery of, oh yeah, I remember those horrible memories, but I didn't go see anybody about it. Now you are. Now you're taking action steps. Does that make sense? So on one hand, it is this busy year, <laughs> right? Where you are having, you know, progress. That's a definite potential here. And having a deeper understanding of your spiritual self and how it mixes with your physical self and opening that bridge and being in balance, being in alignment, really feeling the connection between the sky and the earth or, you know, God and Mother Earth, however you want to see that, feeling that uniting in the heart space. But it can come with an awful lot of shock. Now that shock doesn't have to be something awful, but it may be unpleasant. The shock of a memory popping up. Make sure you're well supported, okay? This is not the year to try to heal yourself when it comes, you know, to any kind of like psychological hurt or anything like that or an emotional hurt, uh, pained memories as we've been talking about. Get some help. There's nothing wrong with that, all right? But this is definitely that kind of year where you may see things that you don't want to see. Certainly, I'm telling you, earth changes are going to be happening. Sandalfin's all about the earth, and I, <laughs> that's the message here. Be aware of the extreme weather. There's gonna be weird space weather going on. I keep feeling like the ground is cracking open and splitting open. There may be a new category for hurricanes if that hasn't already occurred. Um, I mean, you name it, just be ready for very extreme weather. So I mean, I live in the United States. If you can't tell by the way I speak, <laughs> I live in the United States. And just as an example, uh, the state of Kentucky you know, they get tornadoes. I'm from Ohio originally and Kentucky's right beneath Ohio. So we're like tornado, not necessarily tornado alley, all of that. I mean, maybe some of that is in there, but we know what tornadoes are. And we had a way of handling those. But now those tornadoes are so, as we've already seen, massive, intense, quick, that it is better to be prepared like over-prepared, not in a paranoid way, but just in a, this is a potential, I'm going to have a plan in place. Should this occur, I'm gonna be able to handle it. It's meant to empower, not scare you, right? So tornadoes are gonna be way more intense. Blizzards are going to be unimaginable, all right? We're already seeing in some parts where, you know, feet, I mean, feet and feet and feet of snow are dropping and you know people who was it Pakistan as of the recording of this video I, I, don't, I didn't get a chance to read the whole article but um, they got stuck in a snowstorm and it had tragic consequences so yes we are still as humans having to and this is the year I think we really start to understand this getting to know the earth as she is now as she is now not the earth that we once knew but what is happening now and so take it not that people don't take weather seriously of course they do it's just the weather has become so extreme we wouldn't have imagined it so make sure that you do have things like food and water on hand again it's not to be like oh it's the end of the world we're totally scared and <laughs> all of that it's just you know things are changing things are very different now and you want to be prepared. This is also a lovely year 
for finding your balance, finding your personal harmony, and realizing that you don't have to be so reactionary or you don't have to worry so much about what someone's opinion is of you. There could be a lot of growth in that way. And yet the growth is not such that it comes with a bad attitude or fighting someone right, or getting back at someone, but rather just kind of allowing yourself to process a little bit more and giving yourself more space to do that. Again, with this partnership kind of idea here in this energy, it could be, you know, you bouncing ideas off of someone but gaining a new perspective, that is a very big theme I think we're going to be seeing in 2022, whether that's bouncing perspectives off of another person um, or we see events happening out in the world. We're forced into cooperation and now, you know, we're not so worried about what kind of shoes we're wearing anymore because we've got bigger things to contend with. This could also find, this could be the shadow aspect of it. We could find uh, countries coming together um hopefully that would be to make peace um but there is the other p potential there that they're coming together for a common goal because they want to join forces in some way but we can all help this be a nice beneficial year okay even though there are going to be things happening if we put our energy into it it's not the cerebral energy into it. This can be very powerful. The mind is incredibly powerful, but we need the empathy. So people who do not have empathy, this is going to be a very bad year for you. And it might be one of those times where it's more confusion because you do feel like you're in a scramble. What am I missing? Where did that come from? Now, if we find people who are actually going and getting help and truly not just trying to like get one over on the therapist or whatever, but truly trying to find their heart again basically and their empathy uh, with good intentions and they're willing to heal you know there, there could be a turnabout psychologists would disagree they say once that wiring is set it's set uh, in some circumstances but you know we're talking spiritually here so I think when we see the whole earth is shifting <laughs> right and you realize oh this is about to knock me right out of play here so to speak I better figure out what I'm missing. I better figure out how I can play my role as a human being with higher integrity and more love. That is what it comes down to. But again, I'm, I'm not sitting here trying to pretend like this is going to be an easy breezy year. It's not the case. Earth changes. Sandalfin is Earth. Earth star chakra. Uh, there could be, if it's not right for you, something that's going on in your life, it could feel like your own personal world gets turned upside down. The earth is rumbling for you, right, to get you to shake out of that. So this goes down to people who are in very bad situations. You suddenly get clarity around it, that sort of thing. So if you have any more questions or anything I didn't address here, leave them down in the comments. Of course, liking the video helps me out a ton and it gets the video out to more people. If I need to do a part two on this video, I will happily do so. So in the meantime, have a great year. I am sending you all so much love and take care.